Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we went to the Well of Wonders and learned a lot about the politics of suns and, and what happened in Eleutheria. Now, we're at Caduceus. Haven't explored it at all, so let's do that. This person seems very annoyed. They look angry. <laughs> and I haven't even met them yet. A temple at the top of a mountain, reached by a long pilgrim road. Inside it, statues of devils bearing instruments march towards a throne. The smell of roses lingers. Hmm, yeah, you can see roses all over the place. Sometimes when I load in the game, I'm not in the center of the platform. I think I've mentioned that before. But I just realized how off-centered I am here. Look at the- <laughs> I'm touching the side. Um, if I redock, yeah, it puts me in the center. Well, kinda. Didn't look like it was perfectly centered, but... Eh, good enough. The Palace of the Rose, or the Place of the Rose, rather. A temple, garlanded with incarnadine flowers and wreathed with thorns, sits at the apex of Caduceus. It's drowsy with the scent of roses, though you can see none. Poets, artists, and musicians lounge in groups on the marble floor. A woman, crowned in thorns, sits on a white throne. She drums her fingers on the arm. Uh, what does this require? You unlock this with cold. I'm cold? Hold on. When did I get that, and what exactly does that mean? The soul is icy to the touch, dispassionate, clinical, removed. The presiding devil the Carillion, or Carillion Compendium. I don't remember when I got that. Huh. Let's speak with the Thorn Maiden. From her throne she watches all. A flaw in the soul. The Thorn Maiden ignores you, as do most of her coterie. Eventually you find a languid bohemian willing to talk to you. He is very deep in his cups. It's your soul, you see. The rose binders are devils, yes? They have ways of knowing these things. You must have damaged your soul somehow. Made it aesthetically displeasing. He struggles gamely with the word aesthetically. You should go to Carillon in the Reach. They'll put you right. Let's investigate the temple. What is Caduceus? The March of the Roses. Marble statues of devils line the aisles. They have wreaths over their horns. Their lips are dabbed scarlet as sin. Their eyes are the colors of ash and sunlight. The detail is breathtaking. Their lyres and lutes, flutes and fiddles, drums and dulcimers are so perfectly carved that, but for the material, they could be real. Frescoes depict a troop of musicians marching towards a slender mirror. Pipers, flutists, drummers, all. Statues of serpents coil over the musicians. Thorn bushes, bereft of roses, encircle the chamber. The plants are tended by devils in crimson masks. These devils are the rose binders of Caduceus. Within the space bounded by the bushes, the bohemians make their art. All of it on the subject of roses. Let's descend to the caverns. Beneath the temple, the mountain on which Caduceus rests is tunneled through with caves. A drumbeat, slow but steady, sounds from below. The Darkling Caverns. Underneath the dome of Caduceus is a warren of caverns, a labyrinth of caves walled with slabs of volcanic black glass, burrow their way through the rock. A steady drumbeat thrums through the walls, echoing from somewhere deeper. Follow the rose binders. Two rose binders, a devil and a devilless, wait in the main cavern, their eyes like coals in the dark. The devilless beckons you to follow her. Hmm. So I'm going to follow a bunch of devils into a deep cave in the dark. Yeah, okay. A moonlit pool. You're led down darkly gleaming passages, heading deeper under the main temple of Caduceus. 
The devil walks at your side. He occasionally uses his thyrsus to strike the ground as if testing the depth of your descent. You emerge into a cavern lit by moonish light pouring through a crack in the roof. A broken temple stands before a pool of dark water. The devil-ess bids you to kneel by the pool and drink. Uh, what is a... a thyrsus? A thyrsus was a wand or staff of giant fennel covered with ivy vines and leaves. I'm just looking at the Wikipedia article. It says for the symbolism, uh, it's associated with Dian Dionysus and his followers, the Satyrs and Maenads. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those right. Anyway, it's a symbol of prosperity, fertility, hedonism, and pleasure slash enjoyment in general. Okay. Hmm, drink deeply or refuse to drink. I unlocked this with cold. Let's drink. The water is clear, reflecting only the pale rays of light in the thorned masks of the rose binders. As you kneel, the devil places a red cloth around your eyes. The devil touches your forehead with the thyrsus as he pushes you towards the water. You feel water lapping against your chin, your mouth, your tongue. The water is bitter as oversteeped coffee, as an empty bed, as a key turning in a lock a final time. The sound of the drums is greater here, with your ear against the rock. It rises, slow and dolorous as a funeral knell. The devil-ess pulls you from the water. The drummer refuses you. Take your cold soul to Carillon, where our brethren can better minister your sin. Okay, I really gotta go back to Carillon. Find Krillin in the outer ring of the Reach to cure the soul, the soul flaw that has prevented your entry to Caduceus. Um, return to the temple. Back to the marble and the frescoes and the devils in rose masks. Back to the place where the roses do not fall. Yeah, so I guess because I'm cold, I can't speak of the Thorn Maiden or do anything in the caverns. So I guess I can't really do anything here. As I am, they just won't accept me. Oh, did I? I forgot. Did I come here for, with a prospect? Yeah, right. They wanted undistinguished souls. Here you go. Oh, two Eleutherian mysteries as a bonus. That's very nice. The Thorn Maiden accepts your offering and tells you where to place them. Silver mirrors surround the horde, multiplying your reflections into infinity. Some of your reflections are slower to react than others. Ugh. Trade with the devils. They sell two things. Pre-human souls of exceptional quality and supplies. Mostly blind pale fish from the caves beneath Caduceus. Tasty. Hmm. So they don't have fuel. I only have four fuel left. Yeah, I can get back to band, no problem. It's actually not that far away. Yeah, so this place exports the souls, right? Yep. Um. What should I do now? Do I have another place? No, don't abandon it. Do I have another place that a prospect will tell me to go? Ackley no. This is back in the mausoleum. I don't. So... I'm in no shape to go exploring right now with how much fuel I have, so I'm just going to buy all their bargain. All these munitions. Guess I'll grab a couple supplies, why not? And head back to Pen, and then plan what I want to do from there. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> it exploded itself. Poor thing. Bulk and Tankery defeated. I think we've probably read this before. I know we fought one before. Hmm. Prize otherworldly artifacts from between its plates. Yeah, got one. This 
My weapons are so good. Listen to his last complaint. Blind Hermitage. Whisper secrets to the hermit. Yeah. Um, I think we've read this before. Yeah, we've seen that description before. Get a condemned experiment and an Eleutherian mystery and ten terror. By the way, it's the 16th of August. I don't remember the exact date, but I believe that's that's very close to the date in which we can finish that quest at Trader's Wood in the Reach. Um, what was that place called? I forgot its name. The Gate something? No, not Gate. Grave. Regent's Grave. Yeah, we can finish that quest. We were supposed to meet him back at... Uh, the uh, like meadows on the outside over here in Trader's Wood after exactly one year, which was sometime in August. It's now been about a year. But I can't actually go to the Reach just yet. I need to find the place that's actually going to take me there. I think it was somewhere in the north of this place. We'll get to it. Oh! Scorn Fluke. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's do this. I actually remembered that the reason I was excited when I had two nightmares, which is the awful level of nightmare, I was excited about that, but I couldn't remember why, because I knew I needed it for something, and I remembered it's for the Scorn Fluke weapon thing. I don't remember if that was the only thing I needed, but let's take it out, and I mean, hmm, I don't know if there's a chance to get the weapon from every Scorn Fluke. I can hope. Oh shit, Scribe Spinster too. Uh, where'd it go? The little thing is pointing over, yeah, there. Uh-oh, that's gonna hit me. What am I hearing? Is it? Oh, I guess I'm close enough to the Well of Wonders, yeah, to hear it. Okay. Um. Yeah, the weapon isn't a. Th Wait. No, no, it is. Oh my god. I can do it. Yeah, I need a Searing Enigma and Awful Nightmares. As you look upon the spasming remains of the Scorn Fluke, you remember an idea that has settled in your dreams of late a contrivance. No, a weapon. This will give you a large weapon that you can equip while in dock or sell to an equipment shop. Yeah, I want to know what the heck this large weapon is. My god, what could it be? The Wrath of Heaven? I, okay. A remarkable discovery. One engineer follows you towards the corpse. The rest watch nervously from your engine. Between two folds of flesh, you find a ripe, tumorous mass, bristling with undying spines. 
The tumor seems impervious to the rotting death of the fluke's body. The engineer passes a saw. The canker quivers resentfully, but it cannot respond to the indignities you inflict upon it. Aboard, you bind it in metal and tame it with the correspondence. It flares with sullen pleasure. Alright, gonna head back to Pan and see what that thing really is. Dreams of stone. You dream of a city of statues, a court of stone. Old frost gleams on corners, a shrieking wind blows. There are spiders. You see the dead shuffle through the streets and into the court in an unbroken, unending line. Their faces are masked. You awake with a start. You hear your crew weeping in their sleep. Investigating, you find them shivering from cold and thrashing with fever. The dead are brought before me, one cries. They're dreaming the same dream you were. Rouse the crew or just return? Uh, let's rouse the crew. Wake them and offer a ration of whiskey to drive away the dreams. Wait, that just... I still gained a terror. Maybe if I had gone back to sleep, we would have gained more terror. You shake the crew awake and order them to the galley. There, you pour out the whiskey and all exchange stories of your cold, distant dreams. When they return to their cabins, one crewman finds one of the feline eccentrics' cats still sleeping on his bunk. The cat is twitching deep in a dream. Get off, Mog, the crewman says and tries to lift it away. It doesn't move. He tries both hands and strains until he's red-faced. The cat is cold and heavy as a slab of stone. Then the cat, Belleth, the narrow black one, wakes, stretches, and wanders away. <laughs> God, those cats. Oh no, it's the hour of trumpets in Pan again when devils roam the streets. That didn't go well for me last time. Well, once again I'm gonna try to spy on the hunt. Yes, success. From your concealment, amidst the branches of a red-leaf tree, you catch glimpses of the hunt. The devils carry no weapons. They wear bright waistcoats and happy smiles. They ride silver horses. Where in the heavens did they get silver horses from? One chase culminates in the shadows of a viney ruin. Afterwards, while their quarry gurgles and dies, the hunters sit on the old stones and talk of recent affairs and idle wishes. The hems of their skirts and trousers are speckled with crimson. Their horses' hooves are dripping in red. Duh. Let's repair half the damage on my hole with an Eleutheria, Eleutherian mystery. Oh, I also spoke with the uh, Cypress King again and asked them where that place is that can take me back to the Reach. And they actually didn't say it's in the north or anything like that. I thought maybe it was up here, but no, they just said it's beyond the belt of midnight. So, yep, <laughs> beyond the belt of midnight. Wait a minute. Hmm. I was just thinking the midnight plant in Ackles. I don't think it has anything to do with that. The belt of midnight? That wouldn't make any sense. There's probably just some strange thing somewhere here that resembles a belt. Why is the top north of this map slightly explored? Do you see that? <laughs> it's just a tiny bit of like explored space. I definitely have not been there. It's impossible. Oh, I looked at the weapon, by the way. I'm afraid I have sad news. I can't use it. it requires hearts at 75 plus. But let's look at what it does. O oh, war, thou son of hell, whom angry heavens do make their minister, throw in the frozen bosoms of our part, hot coals of vengeance. A gargantuan device that launches correspondence engraved rocks to express your displeasure. <laughs> <laughs> this must be mounted in a large weapon slot. Range of a thousand? That's as much as my current rocket. That's a very far range. 
and it does blast damage. And it does 50 damage for 60 heat. That is really good. 50 damage for 60 heat. Yeah, that's an even better damage ratio than the Vala. I think. And has blast damage too. God, I wish I could use that, but I'm never, I, I'm never getting hearts at 75 plus. There's absolutely no way. Ah, uh, I guess I'll sell it. It's actually probably going to sell for a lot, huh? Let's see. A thousand? Yeah. God, I have so much money. Looks like I've got a couple new leads because we have two new prospects for two entirely unexplored places. Lord Langley's new library, Bronzewood for Langley Holly. His absent lordship's servants have put out an urgent request for high-quality building materials. The old library was mere mahogany and gold. His lordship is no pauper. Three consignments of Bronzewood should suffice. Langley Hall lies to the east-southeast of Pan. Mere mahogany and gold. Under cover of darkness, Bombazine to the Eagle. A shady figure beckons you into the shadows. You have the Bombazine for the Empyrean. He realizes you're not his contact and bolts. But you already have the information. Three rolls should be worth something to the Eagle's many enemies. Eagle's Empyrean lies to the west of Pan. Hmm, so which one do I want to do? Well, which one do I have the stuff for? Do I have three things of Bombazine? Oh, I do. I have eight. What about the other one? Um, Bronzewood? Yeah, I got 12 Bronzewood. Well, let's do the Bombazine. Eagle's Imperium to the west of Pan. I've already been, like, halfway over to the west side, actually. I, I think I remember seeing an Imperian ship somewhere around here, so that checks out. Yeah, should be pretty easy to find them. Should be just, like, right here. Pretty much guaranteed. Okay, I'm heading in unexplored territory, because I'm going to try to go through here, assuming there's a way through here and it's not just solid all the way down. I hope. Oh. Well, uh, was it the jumble of undistinguished souls? It must be. Uh, I'll just toss that. It's not worth that much. Oh, hi. Damn. Get some really good shots in. Damn! My aiming's on point. Well, I have the space for some uh, some bronze wood now, so let's do that. It's an crewman with axes, one bronze wood. So, Carnus, what is Carnus a special place? Like, is it like a port? I wonder what that is. It's in that slightly darker region where all the, like, purple storm is going on. Don't see any signs of a port. I'm just gonna keep going west. This music's intense. Ululation sounds from a cave mouth nearby. Oh, I thought that was just part of the music. Oh, this one's going to take seven Savage Secrets, right? 
Or wait, no, no. Isn't the thing it says seven, but it only takes like three? Right? No, no, it took seven. <laughs> uh, I think it's because this one gives me a crimson promise compared to the other one, which gave me something less like a condemned experiment, I think. Anyway, I gained 20 tears, so that's great. Uh, yeah, we've, we've read that before. Holy shit, why is it so dark? This must be the Belt of Midnight, huh? Beyond the Belt of Midnight. Yeah, that's why it's darker. The Belt of Midnight, an engineer whispers. Beware of dowsers. What's a dowser? Uh... I'm scared. <laughs> Two things aggroed at me. I know one was a scribe spinster, I don't know about the other. No. Oh god. Oh, that's a dowser, I guess. I thought it was like a monster, it's actually a ship. Axis. Some bronze wood. Thank you. Why does it say there's another enemy aggro to me? What's over there? A dowser defeated. The ravaged vessel is silent. Its flags have been torn off. Its name obliterated with a lamb black. What? Lamb black? Oh, lamb black. A black pigment made from soot. Huh. Dowsers will be hostile if your engine's headlight is on. Oh, I missed this part. The dowsers are fanatical devotees of the liberation of night. They attack any engine that dares poison the dark with its light. Oh, that is so interesting. I, okay, I mean, I guess I can turn my lights off. It does increase your terror quite fast, but I guess I can. Scavenge its plating, yes. Your crew are afraid to approach the lightless vessel. Salvaging the night. Your crew works by lamplight, prying plates from the engine's skin while trying to avoid looking into the interior. They do not want to know what crimes the dowsers did in the dark. Gain five tear. Man, my tear is going up fast. Gain fifteen hull. And a plaque from a dowser engine. Now, what is it that's over here? Something really aggro to me? I should probably turn my light off just in case it's a dowser, huh? Oh, hey. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Jesus. Hi. Could you not fly so close? Freaking me out. Christ. storm. <laughs> I 
love that that gradient between the belt of night and then this. What is that? Oh, is that? I think it's an Empyrean. Yeah. Music's changed and all that. We're definitely near. Realistic Sigmund looks enviously at the Empyrean's electrical glow. Could have used that in their reach. Oh my god, are those like tubes of neon? This is the first time we've seen electricity, isn't it? Is it? Have we, have there been electric lights before this? There must have been. I huh. This place is beautiful. The lane of lions and unicorns. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore Eagle's Empyrean.